So am I buying magic cards? Yes. Uh, what I'm not buying, so let me make a list of things I'm not buying and we can talk about why I don't buy them, is I've learned not to buy alpha cards and because a lot of the uh, beta cards are clipped and it's very hard to identify the clip. It's like just, it's really like, the, it's an indentation almost. Now, some cards are actually significantly different from alpha and beta and they're easier to identify, but some cards are not. And the cards that are not easier to identify, you know, I don't have the expertise. So I've learned that unless it's kind of a cheap card where there's not much of a price difference, but when you talk about Black Lotuses, uh, Power Nine, I think a, a woman sent me a list of like very valuable cards. And right before this, and one day I'll show you the emails and you guys will have a good time looking at them. Maybe I'll send them to the Discord channel. Um, I just don't have the expertise to identify if it's alpha or beta, if it's clipped. Obviously, you idiots, I know what the corners look like, right? I have alpha or beta cards, I can look at the corners. But if you clip it with today's technology, because one of the things that they were mentioning is you have to clip it with enough force. You can't just like use a nail clipper and clip it. Um, and today we have technology and it, the price difference is worth it to use a, uh, a, a, a machine, a compressed machine to cut it that way. I just don't know if, you know, some car, again, some alpha and beta cars, there are differences between alpha and beta, which are, you know, in dot matrices, I think, uh, and the color are, some of them have little dot, extra color dots into them. I'm forgetting exactly which one, but I don't want to mess with that. It's very expensive. And if you make a mistake and you buy a clipped beta, which means it's a beta clipped to look like an alpha, I, you know, that could be a very costly mistake because instead you think you're buying an alpha card where you're actually buying is a damaged beta card, which is, you know, going to be very difficult to sell. Because not only is it a beta card, it is a damaged beta card. So I I, I don't buy alpha cards. Unless, I mean, I, I've gotten some of them in previous collections and I'm pretty sure they're real because it's like Flash Fire, Dark Ritual. It's not anything like Power 9 or Dual Land level. The other thing I'm not buying is sealed. I will buy modern right now and I will buy um, newer sets. I'm trying to build out my sets. I'm actually having a blast building up my set or sets right now. Uh, I have a bind. I've opened probably over 10,000 Magic Booster packs in you know the past few years, and I've been just kind of collecting them. I have like I have it from. I'll show you my binder. I'll show you my binder one day. I have it from all the way from like uh, Ravnica, the, whatever. It wasn't the the new Ravnica. It was, no, was it like, it was a long time ago, I think. How many times have we been back to Ravnica? Three times? No, four times, right? Anyway, I, I've been building my sets. So I've been just opening packs. You guys know I own a store. So packs to me are, I mean, when I say relatively cheap, I mean, it's like relatively, I, it's not like a steal, okay? It still costs me a lot of money to open them. And I, for the most part, don't break even, okay? I understand what it is, I understand even at distribution cost, it is very difficult to break even, but I am buying modern and standard stuff right now just to complete my collections because I don't want to open no more packs. I've opened so many packs that I have a $50 pack, 50 to 100, some of them are get like even messier, they're like 100, 200. I have so much, I, I all my SD cards, like they're filled of just my pack openings that I haven't uploaded them onto schedule them for like later on. So I have until probably Ju July in terms of videos of like openings that I've done. I will buy the reserve list, but I'm only going to buy stuff that I actually need or want or something that like I don't have too much of. And uh, unfortunately, that means a lot of the, you know, it's no longer like, hey, just give me your entire buy list and I'll just buy it all from you. Uh, it's more picky and choosy. And it's really depends on the collection. Like I can't even tell you if I'm gonna buy it, but if I do buy it, you'll get the best price out there. Um, and it could be just a random collection that one day I thought was, oh, cool, amazing. So I'm getting emails. Overall, I feel very positive about Matt. So two things happen. And, Number one, I feel overall, I have more money than I thought I did. So, and then I have, you know, the 
tax situation is not quite as bad as I believed it would be. So number one, I, I had more money. I just didn't um, calculate the money correctly. And now that my uh, artist is paid, you know, has enough money in escrow, all my employees are taking care. Even if we didn't make a dollar next year, all my employees are taking care of for the year in terms of their salaries, assuming they don't get raises or bonuses. Again, their raises and bonuses, I'll figure out as we go along. And uh, because that's done, I feel like a weight is, has been lifted off me, right? I miscalculated it because I left out one employee. One employee. So <laughs> obviously that's one employee, even the Philippines will still cost you 40,000 plus dollars, right? because uh, this particular employee works seven days a week. I've told her, hey, you don't need to work seven days a week. No, 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 I need to work seven days a week. Thank you, thank you. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's just her work culture, I guess. <laughs> she works seven days. She does all the, um, you know how we have those anime waifus on the live streams? We have like seven of them a week. So, I mean, there's a lot of them. Okay, now back to, um, so number one, I had a lot more money than I thought I had. Right? I thought, oh shit, I made a I made a massive calculation mistake. One of my employees isn't like an escrow. And uh that has been ramified. That only took so it took me like just some like mental, you know, not mental calculations. I just had to like re put money from like my personal back into it. Um and then the second thing was I thought taxes and taxes will be very high. Taxes were fifteen to twenty percent higher for my local state property, school tax, whatever. All these are like kind of random taxes. And I do expect to pay the most taxes I will ever pay. Uh, 2021 for me was a record breaking tax year. I've never hit that. There's like a certain number. I never thought I would be paying that type of number. But okay, I two things, we made money. And the last thing is, you know, my stocks, we, we did day trading. And when you take out the stock that made money, then it's profit. So then that gets taxed. <laughs> it's a bloodbath. And I was like, ah. but this year my stocks didn't make money. And I wasn't like day trading my stocks like I was last year. You know, it's fun to day trade when all the stocks go up, but it ain't no fun when your stocks go down and they're called ARK Invest, they're called Alibaba, they're called, you know, Baidu, and it's like, I have a shit ton of Chinese stock, guys. So it's no longer, so like, you know, it's fun, it's day trading. I'm like, oh man, I'm a great day trader. Everyone's making money and I'm just trading stocks. Like, you know. So it's fun. It's like, you know, it was a fun time for me last year. So, but when you trade a stock that made money, then obviously you get taxed on it that year, right? Um, well, I didn't make no money this year from stocks. So that's my calculation. So I went to my financial person, my uh, CPA, and I was like, oh man, am I gonna get like, so I'm expecting like I'm gonna get hammered on taxes. And I was like, oh, well, it's not gonna be that bad. Even if it's like 10, 15, 20% more, you'll still be fine. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Like, didn't I pay like record breaking taxes? I, it's like, oh, because you were day trading. I was like, oh shit, you're right. And it's like, oh, did you make any money from stocks this year? No, no, I lost money. Oh yeah, yeah, you won't pay. So then I looked, he did the numbers and I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so A, number one, um, I thought I made a critical error, you know, not putting that employees in the escrow, but it turned out that employee was in the Philipp like, you know, in my mind, it was like, oh God, you know, <laughs> my employees get paid 80, 90, so like, for that particular employee, because she actually makes the least amount of money out of all my employees, it was uh, relatively easy to handle. Uh, and secondly, the tax situation, which I thought was gonna be draconic, is uh, not gonna be that bad this year because last year, the reason I paid so much taxes was partially because I was day trading the stocks and I was making a lot, I was making quote, a lot of money trading stocks which I just put right back in the stock market and I lost everything like this year. Any progress that I made, quote, it's really weird, right? So then now I can take losses if I wanted to, but probably not a good time. I'm just gonna hold the stock, you know? And so when the times were good, I was day trading, you know, making lots of quote money. 
And then obviously they, the government, the fidelity sends that to the government. They send it to you. You put it, the numbers into your, you know, whatchamacallit, right? Yeah, actually I didn't put the numbers in. You just press the button and it imports and you see the tax number goes. Just, 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 just. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this year I, I didn't make no money from stocks. I think I lost a shit ton of money. I'm pretty sure I lost the money I made. So it's unfortunate I had to pay the tax. I mean, it, it's, you know, tax man got paid. I'll just tell you that much. Tax man got paid when I was day trading. Tax man and get paid when I lose money. I'll tell you that way.